Hello everyone and thanks for joining me on this uh, discussion on average of a discrete random variable. So uh, here we're uh, talking about the mean or average. It's uh, another uh, word for average. Uh, you would see mean as a more statistical term uh, as opposed to a regular term. But to give you an example, let's assume that your random variable is the time between customer arrivals and you are uh, recording uh, the time between many consecutive customer arrivals and then at the end of the day uh, you can take a look and average over those numbers and that would be the and that would be an estimation of uh, average of that random variable but it requires a lot of repetition. You would have to record all of that time between arrivals and then take the average at the end. And here we want to talk about what if there is a better way of doing this. And before we continue, uh, I have to tell you that mean or average of a discrete random variable is also called expected value. So expected value, average, or mean they all refer to the same uh, concept. As you're familiar with, the mean or average measures the central tendency of a random variable. What's the notation for average or mean of a random variable? It is mu of x, and x representing the random variable, and mu represents mean, or expected value of random variable x. So these are two common notations to use for um, average or expected value of a random variable. And the way that we can calculate that is summation over values of the random variable on x, f of x. And you remember this f of x is the PMF function of random variable x. So we're essentially uh, multiplying the values of the random variable to the probabilities of those values. It is a weighted average essentially of the possible values of x with weights equal to the probabilities. So here these are the weights and these are the values of x and we are essentially doing a weighted average over them. So let's look at one example here to make this more clear. Here uh, we're reconsidering the problem that we had before. If you go a few slides back, this was the problem. A worker is asked to perform four tasks and x is the number of tasks performed correctly. And the PMF function is given to us. And the possible values of x is uh, 0 through 4. Either 0 tasks is being performed correctly all the way to 4 and we have the probabilities of them. So how do we calculate the expected value of this random variable? In other words, we want to calculate the average number of correct tasks performed correctly. So to follow the formula that we introduced here, that's going to be the summation over x values, and x values starts from 0 to 4, x f of x. The x values change from 0 to 4 and f of x values, uh, corresponding values are 0 0.02 all the way to 0.8. It would be 0 times 0 0.02 plus 1 times 0 0.03 and if you notice here we basically multiplied the x value to the corresponding uh, probability of that and we add them up and this comes out as 3.63 number of tasks performed correctly something to consider here is that the average is not necessarily a viable observation of that random variable you know that in reality you cannot have 3.63 number of tasks being done correctly but that shows the central tendency of this random variable. It's somewhere between 3 or 4, more toward 4. 